The Ole Miss Rebels face off against Vanderbilt Commodores tonight as they were coming off a historical back-to-back -back win against the Alabama Crimson Tide last weekend. The Rebels were able to pick up another win, though they seemed a little bit sluggish and a little beat up on both sides of the ball. Though quarterback Chad Kelly finished with 321 yards, he completed 24 of 42 of his passes and threw two interceptions and also saw a lot of passes batted down at the line of scrimmage. Here's what Chad Kelly had to say about his two interceptions. He did different stuff that we didn't see on film the first three games. I mean, I had watched uh, some games from last year and stuff from him, of course, but uh, I mean, we just, all, all week we weren't really preparing for what they do today. We could have taken our shots every once in a while. Uh, I know I missed on a read uh, on a couple of on the two interceptions. So We'll get better. Um, a win is a win. Every game is going to be tough, so we got to get ready. Vanderbilt's quarterback Johnny McCrary played a very elusive game which aided an Ole Miss racking up 120 yards in penalties. But the Land Shark defense was way too much to handle and shut the doors down in the fourth. Senior linebacker Denzel Kandichi led the way as he totaled a career high of 12 solo tackles. Offense is, is not, you know, doing their best. That means we have to step it up and not. Last week against Bama, we didn't play our best at times. And offense came in the clutch and stepped it up. So it's definitely a great balance. And, I have complete faith in those reports guys. Though the Rebels were able to hold on 26 to 17, the Rebels, they'll have to make sure that they can't have all those penalties next week as they travel down to Gainesville and take on the Florida Gators down in the swamp. Reporting for Rebel Watch, I'm Colin Cody.